Welcome to Pub Travels. I'm Chef David Brian Gock. We normally don't do too many reviews or haven't done too many reviews um, yet. I'll probably do more and more as we go. Um, I'm not really a huge whiskey connoisseur. I do enjoy some whiskeys. I'm partial to some over others. Uh, way back in my early 20s, I was definitely a Jack and Coke kind of guy. And, um, you know, that's fizzled out a little bit over the years. Um, now I'm much more of a tequila guy. And even so, I'm not a connoisseur. I just really enjoy tequila. Cool packaging from Whistle Pig. Uh, we've got the Whistle Pig Piggyback 100% Rye Whiskey. Uh, comes in this really cool box, very very nice. It's got a limited edition pour snout, so that's kind of cool. Uh, they've got a recipe on the back for a maple old fashioned. Uh, we're gonna try that. I don't have any orange peel or, or any other citrus to, for, for garnish, so we'll forego that, but we'll probably try to make uh, a quick little maple old fashioned. So let's take a look at this box. Let's go ahead and uh, crack it open. All right, pretty cool actually. It's got some weight to it. Um, you guys know me, I love pigs. I've got four tattoos of pigs on my arm and uh, our whole house is, is full of pigs everywhere. <laughs> um, kind of had a little fun one day trying to have guests count how many pigs we have throughout. Uh, kind of just cute little things all over. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this. This is um, a 96.56 proof, 100% rye, pot distilled rye whiskey. This is the uh, six year, it's been aged six years. They've got a, a bunch of cool whiskeys. Their website is actually really cool. Very, very well done, very professional, um, beautiful pictures. The original master distiller, Dave Pickerel, um, started in 1956 and uh, they, they built their distillery on an old uh, historic dairy farm. So kind of cool. The pictures are beautiful. I'd actually love to go for a, for a tour of, of the distillery. It's the best rocks glass I have in the house. It's not really a rocks glass, but it'll it'll suffice. It smells like a rye whiskey. We should have put our pourer on here. There we go. That's better. <laughs> All right. It smells really nice. It smells smooth right away. You don't get that huge alcohol waft. Let's give it a try. Oh, that's nice. Really smooth. Definitely drinkable for somebody that maybe isn't kind of like me. I'm not a huge whiskey guy, but I can definitely enjoy a good whiskey. And this is, this is delicious. Very nice. Let's go ahead and I'll uh, make our old fashioned. All right, so I don't have any fancy ice cubes at the moment. We do have the molds, but don't regularly keep them in our freezer. So it's two ounces of Whistle Pig Piggyback 100% rye, quarter ounce of maple syrup, three dashes of bitters, and a fresh orange peel for garnish. We don't have the orange peel. We do have a little uh, maple syrup. The only bitters I have is uh, our, our blood orange bitters, so we're gonna try that. Of the bitters, a little bit of maple syrup. This is taking the place of your traditional demerara sugar in an old-fashioned. And why am I taking this off? This is the pourer. Two ounces. The pourer is very nice. Two ounces. We'll get, get a little stir stick. All right. Let's give this a try. This is the Maple Old Fashioned from a Whistle Pig 100% rye whiskey.
Oh, that's nice. I will say for not being a whiskey connoisseur, um, I do like an old fashioned from time to time. Uh, we were at Pierce Tavern in Downers Grove. I'm sorry, our server was such a great uh, guy, knew his stuff, knew the menu uh, up and down, described the old fashioned so deliciously that I had to have one. It was so good, I had two. And that was my very first old fashioned. That was just a few years ago. Um, so every now and then I will go out and, and I'll try an old fashioned if I see it on the menu. But this is actually very nice. The maple syrup's really nice because it's not overly mapley. It's just kind of almost um, just a little hint of, especially this time of year, we're uh, rolling up uh, just past Thanksgiving, rolling up on Christmas. And uh, just a very, very nice seasonal touch to an old fashioned. So, very cool. Uh, really enjoyed tasting this for you. We're going to have one more special treat, and uh, let's see if we can have fun with this. We are going to do an eggnog with our Whistle Pig Piggyback 100% Rye 6-Year Whiskey. So we're going to go ahead and measure out... in our cool little pig pour. All right, we just thought this was cute. I didn't have anything kind of cool to pour the eggnog out of. I didn't want to pour it right out of the container. <laughs> Donna said the cow's vomiting. We're gonna edit that out. It's kind of gross. You have a pig that's pouring in. Pig pouring in a cow puking eggnog. <laughs> Moose glass. Is this supposed to be from somewhere? Like a Is it? National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Oh, so I guess this this is from, I don't remember it, but uh, National Eddie, Lampoon's Christmas Eddie Vacation. Drink Pardon me? Him and Eddie drank out of it. Who and Eddie? Eddie. Oh, Eddie drank out of it. Him and Eddie, they're having eggnog. Oh, okay, well. All right, cheers. It is Christmas time. It's really good because you can't taste the alcohol at all. Um, delicious. All right. Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, the Whistle Pig uh, Piggyback 100% Rye Six Year with the Pig Pour all came together. And I hope you enjoyed watching. And please click like, share, and subscribe. And keep a lookout for us for more cool videos. I'll edit that out, but Donna's really strong. <laughs> we'll put that in the bloopers. I couldn't get the top off. You can tell the maple syrup's been on, been in the fridge for a little while.